Hi, this is Debbie Boyer, and Canyon ISD is very excited to be able to use Chromebooks for learning. And we're also excited to give each student a Google account. And that Google account is going to be like your Gmail account, and it's going to have at canyonstudent.net. Your teacher will give you that account, and then you'll use the password that the teacher gives you to log into the Chromebook. Once you're logged into the Chromebook, it's going to look a little bit different than what you're seeing on my screen. But if you look in the bottom left-hand corner of the Chromebook, you're going to see the Chrome symbol, the red, yellow, green, blue symbol. And if you'll click on that, it's going to open up a Google screen that'll look much like what mine looks like here. And when you have that open, you'll notice that you should see your student account in the top right hand corner and that is designed specifically for you and will give you some great Google tools because of that account. Now one of the first things I'd recommend doing is changing your password to make it more secure and specific just to you. And when you're choosing a good password for Google it has to be eight characters or more but at least eight and a good combination to make a good password is to have uppercase letters, lowercase, numbers, symbols, anything to make it uh, difficult. Don't put a word or your pet's name or your birthday, but put something in there that only you would know and make it very secure. And also be careful not to share this password with anyone. It's going to give you access to all of your tools, your documents, your, your email, and so be very careful to guard that password and make it yours. When you get ready to change that password, you're going to click on your email address in the top right hand corner and we're going to click on that once and it's going to drop down and you're going to see uh, your account and then my account and we're going to click on the blue my account icon and it's going to open up a new window and as we scroll down a little bit and remember on a Chromebook you can scroll with two fingers uh, on the mouse pad so you don't have to go over and grab the, the little scroll button, but your two fingers up and down on the mouse pad will make your screen um, move. But we're going to go over and click on Signing into Google. And when we do, there's a place to click on Password. And from there, you're going to click uh, turn type in your current password. The one that you've been using to get to this point. And then once you do that, it's going to say add a new password and then also uh, confirm that password again and then click on change password. So you'll have to enter it twice, at least eight characters and something that's not obvious but has a combination of, of numbers, symbols, and letters. Once that's done, you should be using the new password from now on. A word of caution, you're going to want to remember that password make it something that you will remember because the teacher in the classroom does not have access to change that for you. You cannot email yourself and ask that the password be emailed to you. The teacher will have to contact uh, one of the technicians to get that changed. So be sure and remember whatever you changed it to. From now on, you'll have your uh, Google account and your new password. Now if we come back over and go back to Google, you're going to see this screen and I want to talk about how to log out of the Chromebooks. Anytime that you're ready to log out you can go to the bottom right hand corner of the screen and you'll see the little battery symbol, the Wi-Fi symbol and right there whatever little um, icon you chose to represent yourself if you'll click on that that will log you out of the Chromebook and then you can go over to the left hand side of the screen and actually shut the Chromebook down. But when you log out of a Chromebook, you actually log out of Google and Chrome. Now we're going to talk about Chrome and Google tools in a different video, but once you log out of the Chromebook, you are totally out of your Google account and your Chrome browser login. It's a little different on a computer. If you go down to the library, or you're at home, or you're in the public library, anywhere, the computer lab, and you're logged in with your Google account and your Chrome account, you'll want to be sure and log off from there. So when we log off of the Google account, we're going to click on uh, the Google account here, and then just simply go to sign out. 
Now I'm logged out of Google, but do you notice that I'm still logged in to Chrome? So something important if you go to the library or home or somewhere else is to go to this little three-lined menu bar. Sometimes you'll hear it called the hamburger menu or the hot dog menu, but you're going to go to that three-lined menu on the Chrome browser, and you're going to click and right down under settings, it's going to say you're signed in as this student and you're going to disconnect your account from that specific computer. It says to clear the data and disconnect. It kind of bothered me at first because I thought it was erasing my data. It just means it's taking any login for you off of the computer that you're sitting in. And so we're going to clear the data and now I'm not signed into Chrome or into Google. So that's what you would do on a laptop or a MacBook or any other device, but on a Chromebook all you have to do is log out. So have a great fun learning and using these new tools. Thank you.